Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a nice looking and simple health bar that you can add to any of your games. Here you can see what the health bar will look like. You have got here the green for your health and the red for how much you miss to having your maximum health and then if the variable of the health changes then the health bar changes too and once the health is on zero then the health bar disappears. First go to your variables and create a new variable called health. You might already have this variable, it should just represent um, the health of whatever character um, the health bar should represent. So if you want the health bar for your boss, then that's the health of the boss. If you want the health bar for your own player, then that should be the health of the player. And then another variable called max health. And this is the health that the player will have if it has maximum health. Um, to make things more simple, I will just call max health, I will put that to 100. And then I will also set the normal health to 100, which means that the player will have all of its health. Now let's create a new broadcast called um, when I receive show health bar, then you want to create clone of myself. And then you can have whenever you want um, the, broad, um, the health bar to be shown, just broadcast this. Um, to make the tutorial simple, simpler, I will just take when flag is clicked, broadcast health bar. But you might want to have this whenever you fight the miniboss. So then you would just change when the show health bar is being broadcasted. Now take a when I start as a clone and then go to the pen extension. If you don't have it yet, then just click on this blue button and then click on the pen. And then take the erase all function then go to looks and take show then forever and then an if else statement inside the forever loop if the health is greater than zero if the health is greater than zero then go to x negative 125 and y 160 sorry for that 125 and Y160 and you can change um, these values but I recommend leaving them like that because if you change them then you will have to change some other things in, in the, our code. Then set the pen size to 30 or something like that. You can also change that. Set pen size to 30. Then set the pen color to white. Um, then pen down. After the pen down, take a move. And then inside the operators, take a multiplication sign. And then multiply maximum health times 2.5. And now if you had changed um, the x value here, you would also have to change this here. Um, to make sure that the health bar always stays centered. After the move, um, take a pen up, pen up, then go to this place again, uh, sorry, go to negative 125 and 160, then set the pen color to red, set pen color to red, then set the pen size to 25, so that the red, um, the red line will be smaller than the white one. Then pen down and then move again max health times 2.5 steps and then pen up. Then we have, um, again go to this place here, go to x negative 125 and y 160 then set the pen color to something green. Oops. Like this. And um, then pen down. Then move. And this time don't take the max health variable. But this time you should take um, the normal health variable. Because the green one, the green line represents the health. Sorry, inside here. So move health times 2.5 steps and then pen up. Um, where is that here? Pen up and then inside the else statement, if 
the health is zero or less, then you want to erase all. Now we can try the code. Um, so just broadcast in this case, show health bar. And then as you can see here, we have this green line. And if now we change the health, so for example, if the player takes 20 health points damage, and it's only 80 anymore, then you can see that around one fifth of the green line disappeared and has been replaced with a red one. If you want to change um, the value here of x negative 125, um, then you just need to do some calculations to know by how much you will have to change these values here. Um, so basically you just take negative 125 and look um, how far it is away from the same of this number in positive. So this, in this case, negative 125 is 250 um, pixels away from 125. And therefore then this 250 um, divide this by 100 and then you've got um, the max health times and then this value divided by um, by 100 and the reason why we need to divide this by 100 is because the max health is 100 um, so I will just do a demonstration if we have negative 100 for this let's just copy that everywhere Then you can see there's a problem here with the health bar. Um, and then we need to have, you look, negative 100 is 200 pixels away from 100. So you should multiply this by two only. And now if we erase the old um, thing that's in the background, the old health bar, erase all. And now we try this again. You can see that it's centered again, only that this time it's smaller. So that's basically how you would have to change the values if you want to change the X position here. And this is also fully customizable. So if you want to change the size of this, then also then just change the pen size here and here and yeah, just these two places here. If you don't like the colors, you can change the colors like this. This is also changing the health bar. So you can just do it like, like you want.